So, uh, what, what, what did you think about the whole presidential election? I thought it was a joke. Why? But I also thought that uh, Trump is very smart, and I thought Hillary is very smart, too. And there was too much rhetoric that we didn't need, and there should have been a little bit more um, thoughtful that after reflecting on it all, if you look very closely at the election and your age group, and also the middle class, the, the remainder of the middle class, it is a composite and a reflection of what has happened to America. Trump won because of everything that came out of that man's mouth. America watches Bart Simpson, um, all these ridiculous cartoons. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I don't even keep up with that television anymore. When I was growing up, my father told me when public television came into being that this medium really has the chance to change the world. I mean, and it has. And before I hit the streets, I watched, I rented movies. I stopped watching television because I got into RV. I RV'd the internet. I couldn't watch TV. I, it's a long story. But I rented videos, stuff that I liked, what the bleep do we know, collector's edition, stuff that got you to think. So when you look at the presidential election and all the garbage and all the <laughs> one-liners and zingers and all that, it was directed at a population of about the same type of people. There's something to be said about the nuclear family. That's what we've lost. You came from a mother and a father. Period. That's what you came from. You came out of your mother because your father put something in her with love. That is where all of you guys came from. All right? And everything has changed so radically in the United States, there is no responsibility for anything. And Trump won because he knew that. Now, that's what everybody's hoping is that it was just ridiculous rhetoric. Do you think it was? I think a lot of it was, but I think that Trump is very, very smart. I watched a, a biography of him, which helped make up my, my mind. He went to his father and asked for a million dollar loan. He finished his, pro his project, made tons of money, and paid his father back. In today's society, it is the father that is going to the sons and the daughters and all that and asking for money and help and blah, blah, blah. That is the, my children are my best friends crowd. That's what changed all that. When I did something wrong, I got the belt. That, that's not right. Spanking with an open hand, I believe that's right. All that's gone now. You hit a kid, and that's what's happening. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay. That's heroin right there. The deal is, the deal is this. You're 21 years of age, all right? You got all these people, all these people who are on the streets. Felons, shelters, felons. I'm on the streets. I got no felonies. I get busted for ibuprofen in Arizona, where they had a running list of over 300 cops, sex parties, disappearances of women, and drugs. Another reason why I like Trump, getting back to Trump, there's a skate rink up east. The workers were screwing the city for six years. 
when's the damn thing gonna get done? You know what Trump does? Makes a, makes a deal with the damn mayor of New York at the time. When New York is in skid row, porn shops all over, 75% of porn ought to be gotten rid of. He goes in there six months, he finishes the damn thing, makes it all uh, pretty, people enjoy it whole nine yards. But Trump didn't get to put his name on it, but I mean, Trump did it six months. Will, Will. I worked on a sculpture against the um, child abuse and the rape of women. It took me two years to get in into the New Mexico State Fair. And right at the end, I built a damn cart. I thought it was 1,500 pounds. Well, it might have been closer to 2,000, 3,000 pounds. It crushed my cart, but I got it up the front door. Then they're going to close up. What do I do? And he got all these committees of Native Americans and, and Mexican workers and some Anglo. I'm, I'm in a bind. I, I leave, find some white dude, biker type, with a sheriff's badge, black vest, all this shit, tall dude, and mustache, all this. And you with a forklift. I need the forklift. What do you need it for? Move a... 2,000, don't you know how much it weighs to pound sculpture into, into the state fair? I'll be right there. Sheer will. Go out, do something yourself. That's what I did. He picks it up, tiptoes it up, picks it up, puts it in there. They tell us not to scratch the floor. They see how big it is. We stand the thing up. She's 10 foot. She scratches the floor. There's an arc going around on the floor that... You know, and I passed out hundreds and hundreds of pamphlets. I wrote the president, I wrote the world, I wrote ambassadors, every f governor, every goddamn senator, sororities, fraternities, everybody thought it was a joke, put up for sh for years from your age group, tried to bite my tongue and have several uh, blogs dealing with it, been hacked, there's a hundred posts gone, will there's a piece of sculpture up in front of Barton Prince's house that I walked up by my body I pushed it up focused in one end put 20 feet of that up in the air by myself will I can talk like this and have throughout the streets of New Mexico because I'm not afraid because I'll kill him self-defense but i'll always talk first did you did you vote this year yeah in an oddball way i'm registered at an address that i don't like and i just went in there and i voted at that address it's my vote it's my signature it should not be where you live it's my vote my signature And I'm a vet, so I voted, and I voted for every bond issue, every bond issue, for you guys. You read all the bond issues, it's all yours. That's why I voted for him, and I voted for Trump. This is my background. Met Ethel Kennedy. I was on my knees praying for Bobby Kennedy, live. I was raised a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. Hillary was Secretary of State. And we don't need royalty. I voted for Bush twice. The second time, man, it was a hard decision. We don't need royalty. He defended America. Clinton had several opportunities to go after bin Laden. President Obama didn't hesitate once. We got bin Laden, he okayed it. I didn't vote for Obama, late term abortion.
Google it, take a look at it. You'll see blue eyes open, some brown eyes, whatever. All the babies have hair and they're chopped up or eaten up by acid. That is a sin. That's a sin. I don't care what any woman says. It's a sin. That's a murder. I couldn't vote for Obama. I was going to. For this election, where did you get your news from? Was it TV? Was it internet? Word of mouth? Everywhere. Including remote viewing, things that I saw in the future. You're, you're talking about how the late term abortion was important to you with uh, Obama. What were the important issues in this election for you? Responsibility. Veterans um, concerns. I was a witness to an alleged rape in the um, Coast Guard, and I've told the truth. Day in, day out, told the truth. So that's all I can. Sometimes you have to lie. Read the book Bonfire of Vanities, but when you get a whole country lying, and kids are taught to lie, period, without knowing how to tell the truth, your country's falling because all sense of work has left. Your generation has almost no satisfaction out of something that you've done because you haven't worked hard enough for it. So what, what is one thing that you really want the most probably uh, to see Donald Trump accomplish in the next four years? Veterans Affairs, uh, hell, with everything that I've learned right now, I want to go and sign up. And I tell other people not to. Why? When you have just one group of people, whether it's Anglo-Saxon or who can get away with anything and everything, why sign up? When an 80-year-old who I knew, 80, what was it, two or three, he gets the remainder of his benefits three days before he passes away. <laughs> He's dead. I know another character, Miles, one of two Miles, one of the correction officers, his name was Miles, he fought in Beirut. He was a ranger. Green Beret. He was waiting for a heart transplant. You know how long they dragged him on? Ten years. Ten years. In Texas, they got a better staff at the Salvation Army in Austin, Texas. And I kept pushing one guy, and he ended up getting like 2500 every month. He was suicidal. He lost his wife, gets a Dear John letter, loses his wife. His father's taking care of his company. His father marries his wife, steals the company. He comes back home. Everything's gone. He walked the highways for four years. He was showing all these little trinkets. He got arrested once. And he's like, he keeps looking at me. Isn't this pathetic? Isn't this pathetic? And he's like... <laughs> with his wrist all the time. And I kept on telling him, go see um, Holly, go see, um, I think her name was Holly. She was the VA rep for the Salvation Army. And I pushed and pushed and pushed. I should have listened to him and I should have gone too. But I was still in my mind, not a veteran. I, I didn't remember what happened. He ended up, it got to the point of almost fights. You have no idea. I have seen veterans when they're just before they die screaming to nobody, I am not going to answer your questions. I'm not going to tell you how to do this. I'm not going to whatever. You spend time on the streets and you see some of these thugs or some of these foreigners or whatever, and if that veteran had specialty, a specialty, they're trying to break his ass down. You have no idea what happens to veterans. Who meets veterans when they come back? Today's Iraqi veterans are on any everything just short of meth. Make no mistake. It's all the drug dealers. They get back home, boom, drug dealers right in their face. I've seen it. I, I would like to see Trump 
help veterans. That's what I like to see. The second thing is the economy and good work programs for the kids. Clean New Mexico up. New Mexico is one of the, Arkansas, New Mexico, one of the major, these states are corrupt as all. They are corrupt. That's what I'd like to see Trump do. I told you about his ethics, you know, and the reason why I voted for him. And supposedly he treated his workers okay. But if you're an elderly system, on the other hand, if you're an elderly system in the middle of the wintertime, he, ke he kicked those people out. He turned their electricity off and he turned their... Trump's an asshole. He's a real asshole. I'd like to see Trump start... Something that Roosevelt did to bring people out of the Great Depression is get a hold of these kids. Make them go to a, 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 a boot camp, military service two years, but with a catch, and then free education. And no catch. I mean, I mean it's like two years... No four years, whatever, have an option. But if you serve two years, you get four years education. Politicians are shitheads. Trust me, I grew up. I grew up with them. They're they're pieces of. Shit. They are inner structures just dissolving. If you guys have been anywhere, there are bridges in Texas that are scary as shit to go over. They are falling apart. You go over some of these bridges, take a hold of that that fence, and watch the cement where the bolts are. I'm not lying to you. How do you realistically see the next four years going for this country? Do you see it as like a historically good time, a historically bad time? Do you see war coming, economic collapse, economic prosperity? What do you see? If the country wants war, the country will have war. I think the economy has a real chance of uh, improving. I think that if the diehard uh, Democrats work with the Republicans, things are going to work. I'm 57 now. It's a lot harder. Let me tell you, when your knees start going all this shit, and nobody believes you until you start having operations, and then the doctors, they pick on you and they start <laughs> because you're homeless. I like to see some of that change. And then you got a really great example over here. Mental illness and and alcoholism. Bring back the blue law. There was really nothing wrong with the blue law. Smart drunks kept their shit. <laughs> they prepared for the blue law. I've been raised with the Pledge of the Allegiance, the oath countless times from Boy Scouts, everything else. Y'all don't have that. But you do get to a point where you're just fed up. And I'm almost at that point. A little bit of nationalism wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I'm serious. Because up until I was about 50, I was proud to be American. I don't like Trump. I voted for Trump because he made something of himself. He kept his word. He survived in bad times because of the laws that are here for America. If I had money, I, 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 if I had any kind of no... If I could go back in time, I would have turned all the electricity off in my house so I wouldn't be listening to subliminal shit and turning my stereo up all the way. And I wrote President Bush about that. If I could go back in time, I would do that. And then I would see a lawyer and go bankrupt, use the bankruptcy laws to protect my ass and my land 
And I would have quit drinking earlier when I have a judge and two supposed friends always asking about my land. That's how I lost everything. And even when I stopped drinking, that's when they came in full force. But I'm not going to become a statistic. You speak your mind if you're right. You understand? And a lot of you guys are wrong. <laughs> you need to balance out. That's how you make the country great again. I'm serious. Don't ever be afraid to ask a question or do what you're doing now because it is very, very important. And be careful though. Always travel in numbers. I'd carry, I'd be with four or five people. And then a cell phone, always handy. And so I got to say, I voted for Trump. I didn't want to. There's no choice. There's no f choice. Hillary's number was up. So now you got all this on tape and you can edit whatever you want. My name is Jesus Bartholomew Ochoa the Third. You want to give a shout out to your blog? You said you had a blog. Protection of Prudence by Conscience at blogspot.com. Phantom Star Sober Over at blogspot.com.